everyone and a very good afternoon and welcome to yet another invigorating fireside chat on the topic of democratizing opportunity enabling every blue collar worker to achieve a better livelihood co curated by better place and economic times each hour my name is somya and i'm going to be your host and moderator for today's session with the constantly changing world of work around us there's a constant pressure for organizations and employees to realign themselves and enhance the work environment organizations need to focus on the overall well-being of their employees and enable them to use technology to the maximum extent to make their work more effective exceptional support is needed by the frontline workers to understand and upskill themselves using technology to perform better since they need a little extra help and awareness when it comes to technology so without any further ado please welcome the dynamic duo joining me today on the frame abhay kapoor head hr and admin suzuki motor gujarat and vikram bhaskar chief business officer better place enterprise and benefits welcome abhay and vikram thank you samia good to have you both and like i promised to the audience we'll straight away jump into the discussion and opening with a duo perspective like i said um, i would love to understand that what role can technology play in achieving the goals set for frontline workers in a more effective way and i'm going to open up this discussion with abhay first you know uh, if i talk about uh, what has changed in the manufacturing sector particularly where the large workforce blue collar workforce is employed uh, pre covid and even before covid the industry for revolution that is driving a huge technological changes on the shop floor as well as how we are hiring and engaging with the blue collar workmen on the shop floor so uh, right from hiring uh, like uh, during the covid phase uh, manufacturing industries were on e-commerce industry was on but their hiring was also on but physical platform and everyone has to reinvent the hiring in online mode for the blue collar workmen which was never thought of it was a very common phenomena that maybe online hiring or web hiring may happen for white collar only not for blue collar but there were no options and this all paradigm shift everyone has seen and uh, the large volume of uh, blue collar worker has been hired to the online mode so it has also uh, uh, given a lot of challenges uh, to the manufacturing industry and other industries wherever the large number of blue collar workforce is engaged in terms of uh, ensuring the quality of workforce in terms of uh, ensuring the connect and engagement with them that uh, they must uh, come there and uh, work in the organization they should be given proper training and in through online mode to start the work so these are a couple of challenges which in the recent past the industry has gone through and which has really brought a very big shift the way we used to hire and engage with the blue collar workmen in pre covid area and now how we are dealing with absolutely i mean that's a very valid uh, window that you took us through abhay thank you so much for that uh, vikram i'm going to come to you uh, what is your perspective on it Uh, first of all thanks somya thanks for having me here uh, it's a pretty significant question given the you know kind of scale that blue collar industry is as reached to i'll uh, i'll give you a numbers and options there i mean if you compare blue collar with white collar in you know, a white collar employees in india total to around 12.5 million today but if you see the scale of blue collar workers in india that is exceeding 300 million you know in in today's time right now out of which around 200 million is a formal workforce which is employed in key industries like you know bfsi logistics e-commerce etc right now you know imagine you know we are managing these 200 million employees today which also translates to seventh largest country in the world if you understand that you know this is a country in itself imagine managing these people manually if you go just deep inside and see what does it mean managing attendance of these 200 million people today on registers is that possible it's too complicated right you have to have automated process to understand that there has to be a attendance management tool right now second you know disbursing salaries 
of these 200 million people today can you give checks or can you give cash to these people it's not possible technology has to come in picture and also the fact that you know when you disburse salaries through cash or checks the problem is that you know people don't have credibility in terms of their credit history there is no you know civil score so it's it's also important to you know help the entire ecosystem to help blue collar workers so that they have credibility in respect in system and technology plays a pivotal role today you know in ensuring that there is a upliftment for the blue collar workforce and we also move towards an egalitarian society wherein white collar employees and blue collar employees you know come together and you know build the complete ecosystem and and hence the gdp for the country so technology is important right now i mean there's no denying to that fact vikram thank you so much uh, the way you've kind of you know honored these layers i think that's very very important um, this really brings me to a yet more deeper question on it and um abhay i'm going to come to you first that what are some of those changes that you have seen before and after enabling technology for the you know frontline workforce i think that's going to be a very interesting perspective you want to know so the biggest uh, challenge is the change management now the people those who are used to hire uh, people or those who used to engage with the blue collar workforce in a more face to face manner in a more uh, manual methodology without using the technology the very traditional way of uh, maintaining their records engaging with them uh, uh, having their open houses or discussion with them so everything is uh, moving to the technology driven uh, solutions and from that point of view creating that kind of understanding not only in the blue collar work when but also the team which is engaged with them they may be the the software supervisors or they may be the hr managers for these people how are they dealing with this kind of a change and how uh, enabled they are they themselves are in driving this change i think that is the biggest challenge which we are facing like uh, enabling the change management in terms of uh, bringing this entire uh, ecosystem of technology driven uh, management of blue collar workforce right from the hiring to attendance to salary to engagement to their separation to uh, managing their uh, learning training that is biggest challenge so uh, this entire shift i think uh, this is one of the course then another the challenge which we have we are sourcing this blue collar workforce uh, basically from b and c grade cities or towns or villages okay or itis or no itis or 10th 12th schools and all uh, all over india so uh, when we talk about technology based hiring but biggest challenge which we face that they usually live in very poor network areas uh, signals will not be there like for an example if you want to conduct a test a small test to uh, find the suitability of a con candidate maybe we are sending the link through uh, his mobile or through his email so they are not so well versed with email or mobile technology or whatsapp so these are couple of challenges which at the ground level we have to first solve uh, when we really penetrate uh, in 100% technology of uh, managing blue collar workforce yeah i said huge challenges are there that's very true but i think your vision really matters and the way you kind of put this forward i don't think i and vikram could have agreed more on this that these are some of the real challenges that a lot of leaders a lot of organizations are facing today and that brings me to the other side of it and vikram i'm going to come to you to understand this a bit more that how does technology intervention provide more opportunities to the frontline workers so if there are some nuggets that you can put it out for the audience that's going to be absolutely fantastic yeah see we have to uh, you know differentiate what white collar is doing right now and what blue collar is doing and you know as we say if india has to grow it is pretty simple we have to take best practices from the developed countries and that's what blue collar you know segment has to do with the white collar one if you see you know people like us if we were to you know find a job let's say 10 years back or something we had you know amazing job portals like nokris of the world monsters of the world and linkedin time jobs shine you name you know the market has matured a lot but and when you talk about blue collar industry right now so suppose you know i am a guy from bihar i want to find a security guard job in bangalore 
you know, what do I do? You know, where do I go? What is the platform I can use right now to get a job? The situation was pretty bad, you know, five years back. But today, if you see, you know, a few beautiful platforms like Rocket, which is, you know, an initiative by Better Place. We have, you know, a huge number of jobs there. So a blue collar employee can come there, find a job of his choice, apply, you know, through technology. You know, and the the app what the app does what you know it's very simple app which connects the blue collar employee to the blue collar employer, right? And hence, you know, the 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 gap is bridged and the process is faster. So the entire use of technology is to ensure that we are you know cutting the steps and reducing the the manual workforce. So what Amir Khan said in Three Idiots, you know, what is machine? You know, machine actually reduces the manual work. right and cuts the steps so that's what technology is doing right now and hence there are jobs which are available to all the blue collar workforce today in india you know there are number of beautiful platforms which is coming and the life of blue collar worker is becoming easier because the, the job which were already there but a blue collar employee was not able to find the blue collar worker because there was no platform now the platform is there you know which is enabling the the job search for the blue collar workers and also you know filling the position faster for the companies so uh, the the advent of technology has really helped the blue collar workers to find the job quickly and hence create more opportunities absolutely i mean that's very well put uh, vikram thank you so much for that um abhay i'm going to come back to you you said uh, in your closing line you said there are a lot of challenges that are out there and of course with a mission and a vision to kind of you know find the answers the right answers if i could say so i'm sure the audience would love to understand that you know what are some of those top of the line challenges that you faced um, in this whole process and how do you exactly plan to overcome so maybe two challenges and two answers to that will be a great takeaway yeah so uh, one challenge which i already told you like getting people okay through the technology mode through online mode uh, still it is uh, uh, due to poor connectivity or uh, to lack of awareness in lot of blue collar workforce uh, what are the apps available what are the platforms available uh, even today like very popular uh, job portals like nokri or uh, shine or uh, times job and all uh, you hardly find cvs for blue collar workmen yeah so uh, there is lot of uh, uh, scope where uh, these companies can target how to bring the blue collar workmen in the main uh, frame to uh, create the availability of uh, manpower in the industry still uh, we have to depend on the field recruiters the only thing is that maybe interview process is going online uh, we are connecting through the different uh, channel partners or agencies who are on ground really working out to find out the right uh, source or uh, right kind of uh, platform from where these blue collar workers will be available uh, and the second challenge is again like uh, their onboarding their uh, induction their learning their training i think again the huge challenge in terms of uh, uh, ability of the technology in terms of uh, engaging with them many of them are still not uh, having the facility of uh, a smartphone now technology can work technology can enable but the target audience need to have that gadgets which will enable the technology so i see a lot of gap in uh, availability of those gadgets gadgets may be there but they may not have the right quality to enable all that uh, is still uh, 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 many of the blue collar workforce may they may start using whatsapp and other channels once they are onboarded yeah but when they are searching job how uh, uh, efficiently they are using these platforms finding a job this uh, still need to be uh, make uh, aware uh, creating awareness about that is uh, one challenge pause and i think that's one of the bigger paradoxes that a lot of people leaders a lot of organizations are looking to solve uh, abhay thank you so much for pinpointing it out i mean that's really really integral um vikram i'm going to come to you it's a era of hyper personalized experiences that we talk about i think an important um, you know side of the question would be to know that how does organization actually leverage its technology to give these frontline workers a holistic employee experience and in this world of work i think 
uh, employee experience really stands out in everything that we do. So how is technology really being a game changer here is important to know. See, there are, uh, uh, there are a lot of things that technology is doing right now to give a great experience to blue collar workers. I will pick a couple of them. Uh, one is uh, the scaling part of it. Now, what does scaling part uh, to the blue collar workforce means? Uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, today, if you see, uh, I name that a lot of industries are into blue collar you know, uh, domains. Let's say logistics is there, e-commerce is there, manufacturing is there, right? I mean, so a host of blue collar workers are working there, but are they completely skilled? I am not sure. There is a huge gap right now, you know, as far as scaling is concerned. So what technology should be doing is that you know, there, are, there are amazing LMS platforms right now in play. And uh, we, we uh, work in scaling in a very deep way today. The entire ethos of Better Place was to ensure that you know, we have a level playing field for the blue collar workers uh, in India. And hence, uh, one, of the pivotal, one of the pivotal roles here you know, is for the scaling, for the professionals, not only uh, for their professional job, also for their personal growth. Now, there are a lot of scaling courses that we are giving right now for the blue collar workers. Uh, one could be to uh, you know, excel in their career or in their particular industry. Second could be you know, to educate them as to how to live a healthy life. Third could be you know, to how to save the money. Uh, fourth is could, could be on the importance of education, etc. Uh, this is one thing which is uh, helping blue collar workers a lot in today's age. Uh, the second part to it is uh, you know, the early wage access uh, facility that uh, blue collar workers really need today. I mean, if you see the income levels at which they are operating today, you know, they are, by the time they are on 25th of the month, it's very difficult for them to kind of you know uh, have their ends meet by the time the you know, month end comes in. So early wage access provides them the facility to borrow money from their own salary. Everything is possible through technology. And if we you know, take all these initiative, whether it is skilling, whether it is you know early wage access, etc., it's uh, you know it, it becomes pretty important that uh, these initiatives help employees you know in their better experience. That's a very comprehensive and a foolproof roadmap, Vikram, that you took us through. Um, thank you so much for actually putting a spotlight on these arenas that are so much talked about, but still very few organizations are really doing something about it. Thank you so much. Um, Abhay and Vikram, this really brings us to the end of this exciting fireside. But before I let you both go, I have a question and uh, maybe it can be like the prime nuggets that you want to leave our audience with. Um, so let me start with Vikram first. What are these organizations? I would say uh, probably like one, one thing each can be a better takeaway format. So what are the th those things that organizations should stop doing and start doing in order to create better livelihoods for the frontline workforce? Uh, yeah, I would say uh, India is coming of age you know, as far as handling of blue collar industry is concerned. I wouldn't say uh, not to, but I mean, I heard a, a lot of uh, talk about the fact that blue collar workers are not treated at par with white collar. If at all that is happening, that needs to stop. I mean, uh, we should not treat them as temporary employees. They are significant part of our uh, country today. A uh, large part of GDP goes uh, to these industries, and specifically to these workers. So uh, one one thing that we should definitely do is to treat them with respect. Second is to ensure that you know we see the, the complete journey of blue collar workers today and ensure that we, the, the, the gaps are bridged, bridged, right? That's number one. Uh, number two, what we should do is we should adopt technology. The company should adopt technology so that the life of blue collar workers, you know, is easy. Whether it is, as I spoke about it, attendance module, of, I spoke about payroll, I talked about yeah. the LMS platform, which is you know, the, the learning management platform. We have to adopt the technology and worry less about the money and more about the long-term benefits of how the companies can profit and how the blue collar workers can also, you know, live a better life for themselves. So there are do's and don'ts. The don'ts is to kind of absolutely not think that they are not permanent employees. And do's is absolutely adoption of technology to help them and also ourselves for yeah. growth. Absolutely. I mean, that's the secret sauce that you just shared. The recipe is out. Thank you for that, Vikram. Um, Abhay, I'm going to come to you very quickly. Yeah, so uh, taking on from uh, Vikram's uh, note, 
so we have to stop differentiation between the blue collar workman and white collar uh, whatever way it is the dignity res respect for dignity of labor is must and uh, both have equal uh, right to use the technology so uh, uh, i see uh, when we talk about the people those who are managing the kind of workforce blue collar or white collar even it should not be a differentiator oh you manage only blue collar workforce or you manage only white collar workforce believe me the management of blue collar workforce is much more complex than management of white collar workforce okay so that differentiation we have to abolish and what we need to do furthermore is uh, providing the opportunity for every blue collar workman to gradually upgrade themselves through the learning platforms in this technology world or through the uh, uh, skilling multi skilling and up skilling they should be upgraded and they should give, be given the confidence yes you can also uh, reach to the white collar level and you can also become supervisor and manager i think that is something which we all as a management professional need to focus on and everyone has right to grow in their career and so same with whether from where from where wherever they start that doesn't matter where they grow that matters thank you i think that's so so important to act, spotlight it on if i would say or probably this mindset shift is much needed thank you so much abhay and vikram for sharing your intuitive perspectives this truly was a thought provoking session thank you so much i'm sure the audience is going to take back a lot today and before i wrap up um, jackson brown junior once said that the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today and that pretty much sums up our discussion and the pointers that we're going to take back um, i would also like to express my gratitude to better place and economic times hr world um, team for putting this idea this thought provoking conversation together i'm sure it is bound to set some really amazing ripples right there in the community thank you so much everyone once again and have a wonderful day ahead thank you thanks, thanks a lot